What's up guys, it's Phantom Pete here from Vape News Now. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up as well as subscribe to our YouTube channel. Alright, so today we got an awesome clone review for you. I got the uh, Grand Vapor Private V2 clone. Uh, it's a telescopic mechanical mod. And on top here is the Trident uh, rebuildable triple post atomizer. Um, also a clone. Let's take a look and see if they're worth anything. Alright, so I just want to point out a few things before I actually uh, break this unit down. Um, this is a clone, like I said, it's a knockoff. Um, Grand Vapor, I heard, is one of the best you know, companies. Uh, the actual telescoping V2 is over 200 bucks. Uh, the Trident Rebuildable would be about $100. So it's pretty, pretty hefty rig if you actually buy the real thing. So, clone is by a tenth the price. So, I mean, you know, I had to try it out to see, you know, what it's like. This is my first mechanical mod. Um, it looks pretty cool. I mean, even though it's a knockoff, they still, you know, got everything to the logo down. Um, you know, even a little fake uh, part number on the bottom. I know they, I think they actually the serial numbers on here. Um, that's the one thing they don't have, like on the Trident Rebuildable, they don't have the serial number etched on the bottom. Um, yeah, I don't know why they put a serial number on the bottom there. But, uh, other than that, I mean, the quality, it looks good, uh, feels hefty, you know, I mean, this is definitely a solid design, props to Grand Vapor, obviously, definitely going to get their, uh, their real thing down the road, but, um, just for, I've only had it for, let's see, about a month now, and, uh, honestly, I can tell you right now, it's not, not worth getting. Uh, number one, the button here is the first thing to go bad. This is, I, I was watching some other reviews, and apparently that's, you know, the biggest fault in here. Uh, this has a little ring that you lock to lock it so you don't press the button you know, in your pocket or whatever. And that just completely just locked tight on there. The threading is broken on there basically so I can't do anything. Um, so I just twist it up in the up position and then you can manually with your uh, thumb just screw out the spring a little bit. So it still clicks so it's still working but... You know, not that good. Um, the Trident Rebuildable it does come uh, pre-wrapped with some coils on there. Um, it is a dual coil wrap on there. It's, you know, not really a great job. I mean, it works from the beginning, but, you know, you definitely want to rewrap it. Uh, the rebuildable, the Trident comes with two O-rings on here, which hold it on. It's too much. Um, I took off one of them. It was, you can even put it back on there. It's so tight. Uh, I think the real one does the same thing. That's not really a design issue or anything. It's just, you know, extra hold if you want on there. I, I took one of those off. But um, yeah, let's go ahead and just do it step by step here. Let me show you the actual V2 and I'll uh, show you what it looks like here. All right, so let's go ahead and actually just uh, break apart the uh, actual telescoping mod here. Uh, this is my first telescoping mod, so I mean, what that really means, this is mechanical. Obviously, if there's no you know, electronic button, you just simply push the battery up to the contact point with this, uh, which, is, which is pretty nice. Um, if it actually work well, obviously. But um, telescoping, meaning, you know, this is the 18650 battery. Um, you can stack two batteries in there too if you want to get six volts. I just been running with this in there. This is a Panasonic. Um, this is also off of the site where I got the clone. It's a NCR 18650PD Panasonic. I just have protection on there. Um, battery's good itself, no problem with the battery at all. Anyways, so the telescoping mod here is basically screwed apart. It's three pieces. Um, this, you can, this is what would be screwing to lock the button, but it's, it's tight on there. Um, the treading inside of it, uh, I mean, you can see some, you know, some machine milling in there. You can see some, some bits in there. It's not a clean, clean tread, really. Uh, the logo is clean. Just have a little exhaust port in case, you know, the battery blows up, so you won't die from it, which is a good feature, obviously. Um, it is just a 510 thread, um, so you can't screw your, uh, your uh, other ones on there. Uh, but the treading is also just a little bit off. Uh, not everything fits on it right. Uh, actually, it's a little bit short, I believe. But anyway, so it's three pieces, 18650 battery. This thing will put it in here like that. Sweep the pieces on. Sweep the bottom piece on. And that's about it right there. The top, as you can see, it's like that right there. Um, so I mean, it's not it's not a bad knockoff. It's just you know, part wise, everything is there, but you know, the, the quality, obviously, the treading is pretty bad. You know, this button is the number one thing you go bad on it. Also, the treading is just a little bit off. You know, so it's not going to work. Um, I, the, I just realized I screwed the logo on there backwards, but anyways, 
And then the trident right here, um, this is pretty, this is pretty sweet. It's a triple post. Let's just screw it on here. Uh, when you screw the trident on here, there will be just a little bit of a gap on there, as you can see. Uh, which, I don't know if it's like that on the real one. But anyways, the drip tip that comes with it is pretty nice. Um, it is a triple post. It does come pre-wrapped with two coils on there. Not the best wrap in the world, obviously. In fact, I'm going to rebuild that in the next tutorial here. Um, but it does have the uh, classic triple post with the real, you just screw it right on there. It's supposed to be real easy to rebuild. Um, it's got pre-built uh, multiple size air holes on there. You simply rotate this disc on top. Uh, you can get two air holes going it for maximum airflow. You can drill out even more if you want. Um, so far, I haven't had to drill it out. It's, it's, it's pretty good. The max airflow is getting quite a bit. Um, I haven't thrown any crazy coils on it yet, but uh, off the bat, it's pretty good. So these two compared, I mean, this the Trident clone. I say is, is this is actually pretty good. I haven't really had any problems with this. I mean, as far as besides the wrapping that comes with it, it's pretty good. Did take one of the O-rings off. Still holds on, you know, grips on pretty good like that. Uh, with two on there, you can, you can even push it on there. It's just too much, so better just to have a backup. Um, tip on there is just a little bit loose, but it's still okay. It's not gonna, you know, it's not gonna fall off. Obviously, if you hold it, you know, like that, it'll fall off. But you know, it's enough. You're not gonna hold it by the drip tip anyway. So uh, performance-wise, I've used this coil for about a week, so it's not really gonna be ripping right now. Um, but I'm gonna rebuild it in the next video here. So overall. If you're looking for the clone, I mean, honestly, it's it's cool to try it out, but it, it's it's gonna have issues right off the bat, um, if not the second day already. But for me, the button went bad the second day. You know, with the workaround, it still works. Um, you know, I mean, for tenth the price, if you want to go with it, it's not bad. But just be forewarned, it's, you know, you're not you're not paying for the real thing. It's worth paying for the real thing, obviously, to get the real quality. So, anyways. Um, that's that's the review right there. Um, let me know what you guys think. If you guys had the same issues with it. Um, I would give you know the, the Private V2 Grand Vapor Clone uh, maybe like a six out of ten. Um, the Trident Rebuildable really had no issues with it so far. Obviously, I haven't had the real one, so but performance-wise, it's pretty good. So this I give maybe eight out of ten for the clone. So there you go. That's the review. Hope you enjoyed it.